And when you reconnect the sway bar, it's different. So the only way, either you do it with the sway bar connected is what I normally do, or, because we played with Chanute when we put these links on, and there was about a 15 pound difference preload in the bar when we disconnected it. The beauty of the link is all you do is you adjust the link so you can just bolt the bar up when the suspension is weighted. So there is no preload in the bar. The benefit to having no preload in a sway bar is the sway bars tend to have bind in them in the bushings. So you don't want the bar preloaded when the car is at alignment and corner balance. You want no load in the bar because otherwise you're already twisting the bar when the car is going straight. So that's the benefit of an adjustable end length is that it's a really nice setup. And this goes right in the factory. One end goes in the bar, one end goes in the bottom of the, of the hub. It's just adjusted till you can just bolt it. Because if you try with a stock sway bar to take that bolt out, you can't because the bar's got tension on it right now. So the goal is to remove the preload of the sway bar Correct. so that it's not tweaking exactly. until you start turning. Well, yeah, it's, it's right. not loading one wheel. You're not transferring. Because what happens with a sway bar, if I take and jack up this wheel, the sway bar is in the front, it actually will push up the other wheel because the bar is connected to the other wheel. So what you don't want is when this car is sitting static like this, is they, you want the car supported only by spring weight. You don't want to be using the sway bar as suspension, you know, as a supporting suspension. Because in this case, the sway bar is almost acting like a torsion bar. You know, remember torsion bar suspension, they twist. And that's almost what the sway bar becomes when it's loaded. When you say adjustable shock, you mean adjustable glide height. Yeah, this, this is an adjustable. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, and these are and these are triple adjustable, so they are four? Triple. Triple. So they're high and low speed compression and then rebound. And high speed compression is hitting like curves and little bumps on the racetrack. Yep. Low, low speed is braking and turning. You know, kind of. Okay. On your sway bar, you want to adjust your end length weight to have your weight in your bar. Exactly. You so want the car to load. It's actually loaded. Right. You so load. What the angle of the sway bar? Does that matter? You know, these are, you're right. It may. Well, I, it's somewhat square, though. Yeah, I would do what the factory has on it. Okay. You know, I, I would adjust these. I'd adjust one side. You only really need to adjust one. I'd adjust one side for whatever the factory is. You put that in, bolt it up, and then take the other one. Just keep adjusting it until you put the bolt through. Um, put it up a little bit higher if you can. I want to show people. Now, what I did for a ride height, where you measure the ride height on these cars is on the chassis before you have a panel here, everybody knows, that you move to change your oil. The chassis ends before that panel. So what you do is you measure the ride height right here. If you want to, anybody want to pull over here and see, you can see on the frame here. You, you, you measure it here, and then you measure it in the front here. What I use is I use, it's an easy place, and you want to measure it the same place side to side. I use where the body mounts to the frame here. This point here, and in the rear, now this part is that point you measure right to here. See, this is the end of the frame. This panel you don't want to measure off, and you've got some arrow stuff out here. You measure right to here. This is the frame. Well, it's, it, it's behind the jack pump. It's, it's behind, yeah. And because you want rake in the car, you want about a five millimeter rake. What I made is a very simple little tool. It's nothing more than a expandable, we, I agree, we call it expandable fuel gauge, and a way to keep it square. I slide this under the car, just let it click under the frame, put it under the car, let it click under the frame, and then take your vernier calipers and you got your ride right and you do it on both sides. It's very accurate. You can put this along the frame. This, no, this is on the floor. It's on the floor. Yeah. The floor. Floor, and then that goes to the frame. I, I push it down, let it click up, lock it, and that gives me my right height. Front and rear, left and right. 
very, I mean, you're within a, a well within a millimeter on it. It's the most accurate way of doing it. Yeah. yeah, the main thing is you're screwing around with this stuff. Keep track of what you're doing. Yeah, take notes. Because I, I tell you, you know, you, you uh, it's easy to lose. And like, I, I always just use a little chart like this, and then I write one, I, I go by the corner, I put one TT, one turn tight, one turn loose, and then step two, I did this. And then, because you got to look and say, I did this turn, what, where did I, what did I have, what do I have now? And then you plan your next move. <laughs> and you have to measure ride height and corner balance every time. See, that's the hard thing. If you just do corner balance, you can't, because your corner balance move, like last night when we tweaked this car, we could have, before we brought it in, we, what we ended up doing was raising the left front because the ride height was um, uh, was low here and high here. What we could have done, we could have raised it here and come up with 1045, but we would have had a higher, it would have raised the high side more and dropped this more. So we could have done it either way to get the same, I could have tightened one here or we could have tightened one here. But because we looked at ride height also, we went with this side because this side was low and this side was high. When you're doing this, it's critical to have a dead level surface? Um, close. You know, on, on corner balance, and it, yeah, I mean, it doesn't... It's a good point. I mean, if there was a lump in your floor and you yeah. could say one tire up and a lump, you jack that yeah. tire and yeah. you'll kind of yeah. float but in general, you know, if it's a quarter inch or something side by side in the corner valve, there's not enough that you're going to shift the car that it's frankly going to make a... You're going to get it better probably than anybody else that you take it to really do. You know, that's you're going to spend the time on. Say a guy bought a brand new set of shocks and springs. How long do those take before they get a standard set? They take, you know, I, I believe some of the springs are, you know, they, the, the factories like an Eibach, they do, you know, yeah. have a set, but they do change. I, I've had them change 30 pounds, you know, over I had a couple hundred miles, you know. Yeah. One good way to start. Yeah, yeah. You know, you check to see the sprays, number of exposed parts. Like you know, when you take the shocks out of out of whatever packing they come in, check to see the number of exposed threads to the, the perch, right? It should be equal side to side. It won't be equal front to back, but it should be equal side to side. It's a good way to get started. They should have been a current value party for a couple weeks or a month or something. Well, yeah. I, I would drive it a, a couple hundred miles and then let it get set. But make sure you use the ride height kind of approximate. You know, you're not going to go, it's not critical. Yeah. You be doing this every, every two months. No, and, and they, they stay. I mean, this car, did, we brought it up. You, you just put the shocks on, right? Right, in July. Yeah. In July, he brought it up, so we had maybe 150 miles on it. And, and we had it within a pound or two, and yesterday it was 15 or 20 pounds off. Yeah, it was 20 pounds, so it changed about 20 pounds. No, no, it was one turn, but it, it did change. It did more of a set to if you tried them or Yeah, well, yeah, the more compression, yeah, one track wheel, definitely. The, oh, the, the, oh, yeah, it'll be where they're going to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of <laughs> paying them down. Any other questions?